Hello, YouTube friends. This is Recovering Yankee. And I am getting ready to make a salad dressing. It's inspired by something I read online. It's inspired by Chef AJ, who is a McDougal cook. And it is inspired by a generalized uh, web search for Dr. McDougal's starch solution diet salad dressings that are acceptable. Someone mentioned using basalmic vinaigrette with um, Dijon mustard and some uh, sweetener. Obviously, I'm not going to use sugar, so I use stevia. So I, I thought I'd try it, but I have to modify the ingredients because basalmic vinaigrette is loaded with sulfites. So uh, here's what I am trying to use. Here's, here's the ingredients that I'm getting ready to use. Organic Dijon mustard from Walmart. Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Garlic, because garlic's the king of spices. And stevia. Okay. Now, I'm going to take one uh, tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I'm going to mix it with an equal ratio of one tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I'm going to add a few squirts of the organic garlic powder. And I'm going to add one packet of stevia. Since I am holding the phone, it's very difficult to add these ingredients and mix them. So now I'm going to put the phone on pause, mix the, ingredi mix the ingredients up, and then I'm going to show you the results. Get ready, get ready to say poof. And poof, by the magic of television, there's the salad dressing right there. Now, I want what I did is I just put the ingredients together and just mixed it up a little bit. And now I'm going to taste it on camera so you guys can see are different. How do I feel about this? Ready? Ooh, that's delicious. I have never had anything that tasted so good. So, what's the re recipe again? One tablespoon of Dijon mustard, preferably organic. One tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar or other equivalent vinegar. At Walmart, they have this brand called White House, which makes apple cider vinegar. Uh, and there's probably other brands you can get, but just don't get the cheap stuff you get at supermarkets. Unless it's Bragg's or one of those unfiltered with the mother brands. And then garlic powder. I added a little bit of garlic to taste. A couple squirts, like I said. And then I also added the stevia packets. Now, Walmart sells these uh, stevia packets. And as far as I understand, they only contain um, stevia and that's it. They don't contain anything else. Hang on, I'm going to go check that to make sure. Okay. Someone said poof, and I uh, magically, guess what appeared on the... A box of stevia from Walmart. Isn't that amazing? Poof, and the dressing was done. Poof, poof, and the stevia was here. Okay, according to this, the ingredients are... Organic erythritol. Organic Reb A stevia extract. There's no dextrose in there. Dextrose or maltodextrose, or anything that's got dextrose in it, is a sweetener. That is very bad for you. Sometimes they don't want to call it a sweetener because why? If they call it a sweetener, then it means it's sweet and people won't eat it. So they just change the name to dextrose. Who knows what dextrose is? I don't know. You don't know. None of us know. So they call it dextrose and it's just, it's another way of hiding sugars. You can play around with the ratios if you'd like for your own salad dressing. I'm getting ready to go make a salad. Because on the McDougal diet, you have, for the most weight loss, you have 50% salad and 50% starch. That's a, right out of Dr. McDougal's book. He says for maximum weight loss. So I'm going to be using the maximum weight loss program. I'm still eating starch. I'm still eating the potatoes. Uh, the other night I made uh, mashed potatoes. First time I've made mashed potatoes. They came out really good. Kind of dry because there's no oil. So I'm going to have to come up with a better way. But maybe I can use this season, this new salad dressing here in the mashed potatoes. Who knows? Try it. Might taste good. So uh, I'm going to make my salad now, and uh, 
I'm going to, by the magic of poof television, the salad will be here in a second. Hang on one second, please. Look at that. Someone said poof, and suddenly the salad appeared. Here's my salad dressing that I just made. And my salad. So, while I'm adding this salad, dressing to the salad, who wants to go over how I made the salad dressing? Ignore those ingredients in the background. The man behind the curtain. Hope I don't spill this over the floor. I'm gonna put it on plus so I can finish um, pouring the salad dressing onto my salad. Hold on. Poof! Look at that, salad dressing somehow appeared on the salad. Anyway, I'm getting ready to eat my salad now. And I uh, hope you guys are having your salad. Enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. This with your friends. After I get done eating this, I'm going to grab a sweet potato that's dirty from my garden with all the dirt on it. I'm going to wash it, and then I'm going to uh, show you how I cut it in quarters and eat it. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy the show.